everyone, Dr. D here. In this video, I'm going to explain what antibodies look like. Antibodies are proteins. Uh, they are actually four proteins together as a quaternary structure. You've got two identical heavy chains and two identical light chains. Okay, two heavy chains, two light chains. So that's a protein, that's a protein, that's a protein, that's a protein. Four proteins. These two are identical. Those two are identical. And at the tips, you have what's called the variable region, the variable region. So the heavy chains have a variable region, and the light chains have a variable region. The, these are called the heavy chains. The longer ones are the heavy chains. Heavy, heavy. And the smaller ones are the light chains because they're smaller. This blue part's called the variable part, the variable part. And the stem here is called the constant, the constant region. So you got the constant region, the variable region, light chains, oh, light chains and heavy chain. All right? Now, Antibodies are usually found on the surface of B cells. This is a B cell. Antibodies are found on the surface of B cells. That's why sometimes they're called B cell receptors. Now here's what makes one B cell different from another B cell. You see where it says variable region? That's the part of the antibody that can vary. So no two B cells have the same variable region. It's the variable region that recognizes antigen, right? So here's a molecule. Here's a molecule called antigen. Antigen. Let's say it's a viral antigen, like a viral protein, okay? You may have millions upon millions of B cells in your body, right? Millions of B cells in your body. But guess what? Maybe only one has the correct variable region uh, of antibody to actually recognize and stick to this antigen. Just like you have different keys. I have a different car key than you. Even if we have the same car, I could have a Toyota, you have the same Toyota, but we have different keys, right? B cells have different keys. So this B cell might recognize this viral antigen, but maybe no other B cell in your body, none of the other millions of B cells in your body recognize that same antigen because they recognize different non-self antigens. Does that make sense? So each B cell is different each B cell recognizes a different antigen. So when you get infected by a virus, you gotta hope that you have the right B cells. You gotta hope that by chance, you have the right B cells in your body that are gonna recognize that viral antigen. You might not, right? Because it's random chance, okay? So that's what's interesting. And by the way, each B cell has many antibodies on its surface, right? but they're all clones of one another. I want you to realize that. Each B cell has many antibodies on its surface. So this B cell is covered in antibodies, right? But all of those antibodies are clones. What does that mean? That means every single antibody on the surface of this B cell is a clone. Every single one will recognize that viral antigen. Does, uh, does that make sense? So each B cell has many, many copies of the exact same key. So hopefully this makes a lot of sense for you and clears up some confusion about the very diverse nature of the immune system. Throw any comments you have in the comment box below and I'll catch you guys next time.